I just finished 365 days of no alcohol, and here's what I found. I've never been a big drinker, but when I do drink, it doesn't take very much for me to get hungover, and I hate being hungover. A couple glasses of wine, I'll be hungover. Three glasses of wine, definitely gonna be hungover. So for me, drinking became predictable. Um, the outcome was always the same. Spend a bunch of money to feel good for two or three hours and then feel bad for the following 24. So it was really just a matter of risk assessment and the risk outweighed the reward. Risking 24 hours of feeling bad because I'm hungover for two to three hours of feeling good because I'm buzzed. And I just think it was a bad investment for me and predictable. And I really like my life to be an adventure, not predictable. So. Here are some things that I've found. People's reactions to me not drinking when I'm out at a bar or dinner with friends or it's date night didn't seem to matter much. No one really cared. The people closest to me never pressured me to drink just because they were. Casual acquaintances, on the other hand, really wanted me to join them. Uh, why? Because I think they feel uncomfortable drinking alone. It seems to make them feel like they have a drinking problem, which isn't always true but they feel like they're on a different level and they want me to be there with them, which makes sense to me because when I'm drinking, I feel a certain way and I want everyone to feel the way that I am, which for the moment is great. But, and here's where the truth comes in. I used to think drinking made me more confident, funnier, more outgoing, better. It turns out I only think I'm those things while I'm drinking. In actuality, I'm really more arrogant than confident while I'm drinking. Uh, my jokes are not that funny, they're more sarcastic, and I'm more combative, not outgoing. So why do I think I'm so great while I'm drinking? Well, according to Professor of Neurobiology and Ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine, Andrew Huberman, it's because alcohol gives you a false sense of confidence by giving you a spike of dopamine and serotonin. So. By not drinking, what I've learned is I'm really forced to rely on my actual personality, which is confident, funny, outgoing, just usually not in an off-putting way. And this is true for most people that I've been around who are drinking. They always say at least one thing, usually many, uh, that they wouldn't while sober. And if you want proof of this, just go out with your friends while you're sober and watch them while they're drunk. You know what I mean. And that's me and that's you too. So the next topic is how much more productive am I when I'm not drinking? And I think you probably already know the answer to this question. It's 100%. Now, I don't actually know the percentage, but drinking slows my mind. It causes my motor skills to become clumsy, causes me to forget things. And in the one or two days that I'm hung over following a night of drinking, it's the same result. Just add tired and irritable to that list. And I'm usually so mad at myself for being hungover. It's a complete waste of a day. It's like the day never existed, really. I don't get anything done. I'm not creative. I'm tired and I'm anxious and depressed. So now let's talk about sleep. When I'm not drinking, I go to sleep. And the next thing I know, it's morning because I've slept all night. And for me, that's eight hours. There's no tossing and turning, no crazy dreams, no anxious thoughts as soon as I open my eyes. And no regrets about the night before because I didn't make any bad decisions. Uh, I didn't get into any arguments. I didn't make jokes that I'm not happy about. I, you know, I'm completely rested and I feel great. And my mood is great. I'm more patient and kind. I'm actually better when I'm not drinking. Now let's talk about money when I'm not drinking. I have a lot more of it. I have saved hundreds of dollars a month by not drinking, which only helps boost the good mood I'm already in by not being hung over. So I either save that money or invest it or spend it on things like ski trips, which is my favorite activity. And let me tell you, skiing powder on a sunny day in the Colorado Rocky Mountains is exponentially better than a night of drinking, saying something stupid, and being hungover for the following 24 hours. Talk about boring. That's boring. So I have a choice to make. Stick with the vicious, boring cycle of drinking and saying and doing dumb things, being depressed and anxious, not sleeping well, and having 24 hours of feeling sick, or choose the more exciting and fulfilling cycle of not drinking and saying kind, supportive things, being mostly happy and having a stable mood each day, being well-rested and very productive. 
Now, I could probably have a glass of wine with dinner some night, maybe even a couple nights a week, but why? I just don't enjoy it that much anymore. It really just doesn't do it for me. So as for now, I'm really enjoying life without alcohol. So am I telling you to stop drinking? No. But if you do, I think you'll really like the results.